Hi, my name's Barbara. Uh, when I was five years of age, I became crippled. Um, for most of my life, the effects that it had on me, I had excruciating pain through my legs and in my lower back in particular. Um, I went to a Bill Sabritsky meeting, I think it was early last year sometime, I can't remember. I've been to several, but this particular one, he asked me to, he pulled me out of the audience and he prayed over me um, and he said to me that night, in fact I had to stay on the stage most of the night, but he said to me, I haven't been able to heal you, the work has just begun. Um, and maybe you can come to another meeting. This is that meeting, and I can assure you, I have no back pain and haven't had since several months after he prayed over me. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Praise God. Good morning. Isn't it wonderful when we get good news? We all like good news. And this morning, I was reading a letter which I received from Wellington, and it reads as follows. Recently, you called on, and I'll leave the name out, a Mr. So-and-so, at a private hospital in Wellington. You prayed for healing for her cancer. Hallelujah, she's just been told that she has no cancer in her body. You know, God is good, isn't he? And here's his anointing as I tell you this. And his presence is always with us. This lady was, looked very sick when I went to see her and uh, the Holy Spirit had told me to go and pray for her, which I did as I was there. And the power of God touched her. Now the same power that touched her uh, can touch you this morning. It was the same power that when that woman who wanted to touch the hem of Jesus' garment and she pressed through the crowd to do it. The same power is here to touch you. She was healed. The issue is, do we believe? And you know, when I looked at that lady in the bed, I could see she had faith for healing. And that's what we need. I, she, I could see as soon as I looked at her that she was going to believe for her healing. And uh, she was in quite a serious state with that cancer. But you see, she believed. God was with her. God's with us today and his power will touch you. So I'm going to pray now, believing uh, for that same power that raised Jesus from the dead, that wonderful, miraculous power to touch you as you believe. I'll put my hand out towards the camera. I'll pray. Can I suggest that you close your eyes so you're not diverted? And we'll just let's believe for a mighty touch from God. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for your presence. We thank you, Lord, that you're not only in heaven, but you dwell in us as believers by the help of the Holy Spirit. Helper, Holy Spirit, you're here today. You're with us now. And as I stretch out my hand towards the camera, Lord, I'm believing for each person who's watching this now to have a great anointing upon them your power and presence, whether they feel it or not. And Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and in full belief in that name, that, so that name that one day before, that person whom one day before we will all bow the knee, that person has the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. In that wonderful name, Lord Jesus, we pray now and bind in the, your wonderful name every spirit of sickness and disease afflicting any person watching this now. We command in the name of Jesus Christ for every demon power to flee. Every demon of sickness, disease, flee now in Jesus' name. Now, Father, I just ask for your anointing, your power and your presence to fall on every sick person, diseased person at this moment. Be healed and be set free in the wonderful, glorious name of Jesus Christ. There's his anointing. There's his power. Be healed and set free. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen.